everybody, welcome back. I'm gonna run out and start another mud bugging 2016 run. Uh, the traps have still been out. That last uh, video, the storms went through. Uh, these t uh, traps haven't been tended now for a uh, day, day and a half here, so they're gonna be out of bait. I'm not sure if there'll be anything in them, but we're gonna start a new video now. I got fresh bait to put in there, and uh, we'll run them. It's supposed to be right now, it's about 50 degrees. It got down to about 36 last night but it's supposed to get up to 72 today, 77 tomorrow, so it should be a nice run of weather. First thing I have to do here, like always, is sign into the wildlife management area. For the bait that I'm gonna be using today, once again, I'm gonna be using beef melt. Uh, this stuff I previously had cut into sections and put it in the freezer, so this is all froze up. I took it out of the bags, put it into nylons, and now we're going to put them into the traps. Now this trap didn't have anything in it, but if you remember in the last video, this one had very little bait in it. There we go. It's hard to believe that up at the tent right now, there's over three feet of snow on the ground. They just got a fresh four or five inches yesterday. What a beautiful morning it is down here. I only got three on this one, but man, they are some nice size. Two of them are really big. All three of them are nice, but Get some bait in this one, get these three out, get it thrown back in the water. Well, this trap only has two in it. Nice size ones again, but uh, that bait is stinky. I, people say use stinky bait. I find I catch a lot more when I have fresh bait. This is the one with the catfish head in it. Looks like I've got three in here. I think that this little spot in here is kind of fished out, this little area, because this is where somebody stole my other trap, and uh, I think other people have fished in there. Well, that trap didn't have anything in it, but it didn't have any bait in it either, so got some new bait in there. We'll see what happens. Nothing in that one but green slime. Well, only got eight out this time, but now they're all freshly baited. We'll come back later, see if we do any better. Well, I'm running out, check the traps right now. It's the following afternoon. It was chilly last night, down to about 34 degrees, and it only got up to 68 today. But we're gonna run the traps, see if we got anything, and 
checking and see if things progress better this week because the temperatures are supposed to warm up. I was just over talking to those three right there because I have a trap set right there. And I just told them that I had a trap set on the right and right away it was like, oh, you're the crawfish guy from Minnesota. <laughs> Nice people, real nice. They happened to watch the videos and then they went ahead and made some traps and now they're gonna set them out. That's awesome. Not too bad. Looks like that colder weather didn't affect them much. Still nice size to them also. Got an even dozen in that trap, that's not too bad. Look at the size of that one. That trap had 13 in it, so not too bad for how chilly the nights have been. Well, that trap only had one. You know what I'm going to do with this trap? Uh, yesterday, I think when we checked this, even though we had low numbers, I don't think this one had anything in it. So, and this is the one that has the uh, uh, catfish head in it. So I'm gonna go ahead, I brought one chunk of bait, uh, frozen beef melt again inside the pantyhose. I'm gonna put that in there, and we're gonna put this back in, and we'll see if the numbers go up anymore in this trap. Got a few in that one. This one right here, that might be one of the biggest ones I've ever caught. Look at the size of that one. <laughs> oh, well, we got one more trap to check here. We'll go back and see how many we caught. Well, it looks like this trap only has three, but man, that one right down there, he is a big one. I took and pulled that trap as you guys just saw. I put it in my truck, I'm gonna replace that one. I see that this is a new stick that's put in the ground and I have a feeling that those three that we saw at the beginning of today's video, they probably have a trap right there. I'm not even gonna check and see, but that stick has definitely just been stuck in the ground. And uh, I don't have any problem with that. Let them trap here. There's a spot down, down on the other end that I, I kinda wanna try anyway and that uh, trap still had bait in it. So let's run down there, we'll set that trap. Hopefully these guys will have some good luck. Now you can see here where it's real weedy, but then right underneath this tree, nice little open water right there. Seems a little shallow there, but I'm gonna give it a try anyway. Sometimes I catch quite a few when part of the trap is out of the water.
check those traps. Today's catch was an even 40. All right, everyone, well, it's the next afternoon. I'm running out to check those traps. This afternoon here now, I'm just gonna run the traps and empty them. I didn't bring any more bait with me. I wanna see what's left in the trap. I do have a bunch of beef melt that's thawing out right now, so if they're really low on bait, which they might be, I'll come out in the morning and run the traps again and rebait them. It's been a real nice day today. It got up to 82 degrees, just really nice. Looks like I got eight in this trap. Most of the bait is gone, but there's still a little bit left. Well, the next one we're gonna check here is the one that we moved yesterday. It's underneath one of those two trees that have leaves on it, or two sections of trees. Well, I only got three in that one. They didn't eat hardly any of the bait. That really wasn't the results I was hoping for on that spot. Well, I'm gonna take this and go even farther down here and find a spot to throw this in, a little bit deeper water. looked a little bit better. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Well, I only ended up with five in that trap. I'm just wondering if these areas are just getting trapped out. First trap today that's done anything at all, really. Quite a few in that one. That trap had 14 in it. That waterway right along the highway there seems to do good. I wish there was a way you could get through this because that water goes all along, but I don't want to access it from the highway side. Maybe tomorrow when I do the traps, maybe I'll get down in here and set some. Oh, we got two more to check. I haven't been doing real good on these on this. I think this waterway up here gets a lot of pressure, a lot of trapping pressure. But this first one we'll check is the one that I added some of the beef melt in with the catfish head. So we'll check and see how this one is. Finally caught a few in this one. See how many we got. Well, that one had seven or eight in it. I'll count them when I get back to the house. And that's weird because somebody commented on the last video that I posted that they didn't think that crawfish liked uh, the catfish that much. So, and I, I mean, I've caught them with the catfish before many times, but I don't keep track of how many you're getting and in which trap and you know not i've just done it too much to really remember i guess so that's one reason why i wanted to add that beef melt and definitely caught more with the beef melt and that fish head in there than i did with just the fish head i mean yesterday i don't think we caught anything in that trap so anyway a good little piece of advice all right one more to go Looks like only four or five in that one. And it still has bait. I think I'm gonna actually move this one. Maybe put this one over by the road where we looked earlier. There's one tiny one down there. He gets to go free. Too little. Can't even pinch me. All right, well that's every trap. Let's go back and count them. See what we ended up with.
tonight's catch was an even 40 again. I think we got 40 yesterday and then 40 tonight, so that's 80. Not bad. See what we get tomorrow. Well, I'm back out here to check the traps. It's about 9.30 in the morning. I'm just going to pull all the ones that are along this waterway right here. I only have two. I'm going to pull both of these, and like I was talking about last night, I'm going to put them out kind of by the road there if I can get in there, because uh, I never see anybody trapping right in that water. Looks like I only have two in this trap. They're nice size ones though. Get these in the bucket, pull this trap. Well, that trap only had one in it. That was the one with the catfish head and the beef melt. I pulled that trap. Like I said, I don't want any of them in this waterway anymore. I'm going to take a rebate. I'm going to add one trap to the mix. We had six. I'm going to put out seven today. I'm going to add three along the road just to see what happens. So I'm going to get these rebated. And then we'll run them out. And then we'll go check the other ones. very warm, hazy morning. I think it's going to be a pretty warm afternoon. That water looks like it's getting a little shallow here, but I'm going to give it a try. All right, well, I threw that one in, but that's really shallow. I'm not going to go down any farther because it's just getting shallower and shallower. I haven't thrown any traps on this side of this waterway, so I think I'll throw my last one right here. It'll be interesting to see what happens. I feel good about that first one. The depth of that water was nice, but the other one, I'm not so sure about, and I have no idea about that last one that we set. With these four traps, I'm just gonna pull them pull what's in there out of it because I don't think there'll be much There hasn't been enough hours. Get them rebated, shove them back in the water, then we'll come back 24 hours tomorrow morning and uh, check them again. Well, I only have one in that one, but something's definitely been trying to pull the bait out of the trap. This one has nothing in it. And this one had, what, 13 or something in it yesterday? Better get some new bait in there and throw it out. Only had one in that trap. It was a nice big one, though. And this last trap has two in it. I'll get some fresh bait in this one also and get it tossed back out. Well, the total count on this time was seven. It wasn't very many, but like we said, we're getting everything fresh baited and then we'll uh, come back out in the morning and hopefully do a lot better. Well, it's about 10.30 in the morning, so it's been a full day now. I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna empty these traps, I'm also gonna pull the traps, and we're just gonna see what we ended up with. Well, it looks like I got four in this one. This just isn't a really good area. I think we only got one in here yesterday, and 
and we put in fresh bait and now I've only got four. Get them in a bucket. The reason I'm pulling these traps today is I, I mean, I've been catching these for quite a few days now and it's kind of be nice to do a little catfishing and stuff and these take up, you know, part of the day. So I'm just going to get them pulled up and call it for now. Now it looks like this one only has four in it also. Did a little better in this one. Well, that trap had eight in them. A lot of nice size ones still. Well, that trap had four in it. And we got three traps to go. I really don't think that one trap that's in the shallow water is going to catch anything, but. Have to wait and see. Well, at least I didn't get skunked in that one. There is a few in here. Surprisingly, that one had seven in it. I didn't think I'd get anything in that shallow water. Five more in this one. One more trap to go. That trap had seven in it. I signed out I was driving out and there was a group of four guys that were pulled over on the side there and they were going into into the actual trees where the water is so it was an area that looked just like this here and I told them every time I've ever put traps in this I never catch anything and they said what you got to do is you walk out and you kick a little hole with your foot so you can get the trap down in there a little bit and they were using beef melt for bait and they said they have really good luck I just can't believe every time I come down or, or, you know, video comments and everything, I always learn something new. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. That's going to be it for mud bugging for the next, at least the next week. I may throw them out after a week or two here. I might throw them out one more time. But for now, we'll see you guys on the next video.